Hey everyone, this is my second gen Toyota Tacoma double cab long bed. And we're gonna walk you guys through how I modified the seven foot long flip pack to fit a six foot truck bed. make these things anymore. 2015 flip pack, the business went under. The guy who originally was making them died, unfortunately. So they're hard to find and people that have them covet them and if they want to sell them, they sell them for a lot of money. Uh, I was doing nationwide searches on Tacoma World, Expedition Portal, and another forum. Wasn't finding anything. The only other one uh, that was for sale was in Washington and it needed fiberglass work, like a decent amount, needed a new rear door, and it needed the tent to be repaired and they were asking like six grand, right? And I'm like, that's just a lot of money, especially for one that needs a decent amount of work. So I ended up finding this one. Actually, in the beginning of my search, I found this one right here in Portland, Oregon, um, but it was too long. And at the time, I thought it was too wide as well. I thought it was for I have no idea what kind of truck this is for. I think it's like a second gen Dakota. Um, so we eventually, after not finding anything, I double checked my measurements, realized that the one in Portland, the width was uh, the same as my truck and would fit. It's the, uh, the length was too long. And then a uh, huge shout out to this, you know, post his video over here. Uh, he had the same problem where he found a flip pack and pretty much just shortened it up to fit his truck. I think he went from eight feet to five and a half feet for his F-150 uh, and we had to go from seven feet to six feet for my Tacoma, so that's what we did. And we'll show you some pictures, but essentially this back wall, when that back wall was lined up with the back of the truck, this back wall was like 12 feet, or sorry, 12 inches over uh, the tailgate. And it's done, it's color matched vaguely this is the first day we got it back super stoked we found it picked it up opened it up made sure everything worked and then we uh got straight to work took about 12 inches off the front of it and found that out for measuring the overhang on the back as you can see there using a jigsaw to cut up the front wall there and then right here, I'm just using a chalk line to connect the two sides, make sure they're nice and symmetrical level. Gonna put that aside for later because we are going to use it to make our new exterior wall. Got the fitment just the way we liked it. Looks good on the front, looks good on the back. And once that stuff was done, then we took it off, put it on the sawhorses right there, and got to work rebuilding it. Then here you can see the completed flat-framed wall we put in. Got some fiberglass bondo, normal bondo, and our party knives for this next step. We use the fiberglass bondo because it is a lot stronger than normal bondo. We use that to fill in the low spots we created with our new stud wall, along with just, you know, as you can see here, filling in uh, gaps everywhere pretty much. Uh, and the goal here, we're just trying to make it look like we never touch this wall we want to make this look like an oem uh you know straight from the flip pack factory meant for a long bed tacoma we want to make it look like you know we didn't do all this modification so we're just filling in the highs and lows creating a nice rounded taper to all our hard corners that's kind of what the flip pack looks like all the corners around it are rounded off so that's what we replicated all around our window along with that like new overhang on the top here we just rounded everything off made it look 
you know, like it came straight from the factory that way. Here we got our first layer of fiberglass on, as you can see here. So this weathers everything in, also makes it stronger, but most importantly is water resistant now, which is awesome. So here I sprayed our, bond, or our uh, primer and decided what I wanted to fix and what I didn't, and we moved on. And for this next step, we got some color match paint and a spray gun straight from Harbor Freight. It did just fine, it was about $30. Um, this was my first time ever spraying uh, automotive paint from a gun like this, and uh, it was definitely a fun experience. I would definitely watch some other videos for guidance on how to do this properly. Like right here, I think my angle of my gun's all jacked up, and along with a slew of other things, but it turned out okay. Uh, we used the proper paint code for my truck. Uh, however, I think due to the temperature and some other factors, it came out quite a bit darker than my truck's paint, which is pretty common. It's hard to match paint up from what I've been told, but we're happy with how it turned out. It's a lot better than white and uh, yeah. All right, yeah, so final product, uh, let's see. Yeah, so essentially uh, three quarter inch plywood is right here. Um, this is our new exterior wall. So three quarter inch plywood, this was all existing. Uh, and then just right under here is where the plywood starts. It goes into a two by four header that runs all the way across and then two by four leg, two by four bottom plate going all the way across. And then this window, we just tied it into our new two by four leg I guess you could say this is not perfect like if you look down there oh yeah especially right here like you can see some fiberglass it's not perfect again you have to kind of like really look for this stuff and I have to point it out to you but the most important part is that it's structural and it's strong and it's weatherproof so that it is and it is strong as hell because uh we were doing some donuts the other day in the snow and it did just fine, you know, super uber strong. <clears throat> these legs here didn't come with the truck. We had to custom make these. Uh, so this is all straight from Home Depot pretty much. So this is a bimini top clip with the male end that we put into like, I think this is half inch diameter stainless steel. This is tapped into a fender bolt. It's like a custom made L bracket. I think it was an L bracket and we just kind of custom made it to fit and it just pokes up, up through the uh, gap in the fender in the hood with a pretty much a hole going all the way through. So essentially, essentially that hole lines up with that hole there and then you put this uh, giant cotter pin through and it holds it just fine and it holds weight. Okay, so inside the bed, there's not a whole lot I had to do in here, but this is the bed area we're gonna work on. This is the, the tray, so essentially your bed can be this thick, which isn't, you know, excessive. I wish it was a little bigger, but it's all good. We'll make that work, so we're gonna do that in an upcoming video. This is existing. This is all carpeted now. It's not a perfect match as far as color is concerned, but it's close enough for me. So yeah, you can uh, you can see our two by four base plate here, two by four leg, two by four header, three quarter inch plywood running wild. So essentially this is the three quarter inch plywood that goes out past here and then is actually overhanging the truck, which we pointed out. So yeah, it comes in here. I kind of left it. I was gonna cut it off uh, to be flush with the two x four header, but it acts as like a great shelf for, you know, stuff. Uh, and also for sitting too. You could sit on this, but you know, it's good to have options. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it on the inside. So, I'm doing a lot of car camping. 
and we were originally car camping back here with just a normal canopy that I had bought. Um, our setup was pretty cool, in my opinion. We had a mattress that we cut out around the wheel well, so it fit in here perfectly. It's a Tempur-Pedic, super, super comfortable. Um, so just this whole thing would be a bed. We put our duffel bags or clothes or whatever, like camping gear on top of that. Set up camp, sleeping here at night. The ceiling was probably like this tall, so there's plenty of room, but you can really just only crawl in there and then lay down. That's all you can do. Uh, and we also put some like fiber optics in the ceiling. We'll show you a picture of that. It looks really cool. I'm pretty happy about that. But it was really cool. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So did my girlfriend. But I wanted to be able to get away for like weeks at a time. And I needed something a little more sustainable, a little more room. Came across the flip pack and just had to have it once I saw them. All right, so now that you've seen the whole story up until now and you've seen all the crap we had to do to get it to look like it is now. Uh, the goals for the future are we're gonna get that bed dialed in. There's only like a three inch tray for the mattress to fit in and it came without a mattress. So we're making one right now and we'll uh, that'll be in one of the other videos. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get these lights wired up. We're probably gonna do like an LED uh, strip. And then we're gonna do like a U-shaped uh, kitchen down here. Uh, Essentially bench, storage, uh, fridge on that back wall, walkway in the middle for walking and getting up to the bed. And then on this side, it's gonna be one long kitchen cabinet with a hard mounted uh, stove, sink, fresh and gray water for the sink, and then some other stuff along those lines. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.